G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel now today. I have a very special video. I am currently in Big Ant Studios and I'm about to play AFL 23 for the first time. Oh, all right, here we are. We're into the main menus. Oh, I just love that excitement when you first get to play a game you've been waiting ages to play. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we got Lockie Neal. We got uh, Paddy Dangerfield, and I reckon that's Jordan Dawson in the background. I wanna go see some of the players. I wanna see how some of the face scans look. So we'll go into the academy, and we'll check that out. Here we go, down the race. All right, so we've got the main man who is on the cover of the game, Christian Petrarca, looking shiny, looking slick. I like the, <laughs> I like the calves on the man. That, that is a lot of calf definition. I'm pretty sure he'll be happy with that. Uh, we've got Clary with the, uh, the Erling Haaland haircut. <laughs> uh, big Maxi Gorn, looking tall and ominous. Brody Grundy, the Tap Brothers, together. Jakey Lever. I like how the Ds are rated as well. In previous games, some of your, your Geordie Gisberts and Ricky Pedards didn't quite make uh, <laughs> the 90 overalls, but obviously a premiership side in the last few years, so they're rated quite highly. Look at the big fritter. Gussie Brayshaw in his red and blue helmet. Looks unbelievable. Got the Sharon in hand as well. Oh, this is really cool. Let's go down to some of the lesser known players. Oh, the big Shaq attack. So Joel Smith, he's a he's sort of a uh, a pinch hit type player. Comes in four or five games a season, but he's got the face scan, which looks awesome. Uh, Kay Chandler, who's playing some great footy, has the face scan as well. I'm pretty sure every player uh, in AFL 23 has been scanned in, so that is unbelievable. Yeah, these players, these graphics look really really cool. Let's check out another team. I'll, I'll go to probably my second favourite team. I'll, I'll check out Collingwood. They're flying at the moment. Let's check out the Pies boys. Big Darcy Moore with the headband. Look at the hair flow <laughs> in the wind as we spin him around. Oh, Geordie Dugowie. This is a stacked Collingwood outfit. Crispy. Steel side bottom. Jeremy Howe, he's looking a little bit healthier than he was a couple of rounds ago, the big fella. We got Scotty Pendlebury, Maynard. This is awesome. Where's um, where's Nick Dacos? I want to check him out. Oh, where's Guinea? Let's have a look at Guinea. Oh, there's Guinea with the iconic haircut. He's looking looking really fresh there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's Whispery. Or Wispy or whatever his name is on, on Insta. Nick Dacos. He's got that modern haircut. I reckon he's repping that at the moment. It's almost like the, the short mullet slash mohawk. I'm going to rack it up with Nick Dacos in this game. I'm going to cruise around and, and get a lot of touches. Our man Trent Bianco is in the game. He's been scanned in. Look at the great man. I've got the swooping magpie. Now, there was rumours that they were going to use this in, um, in Gather Round. Maybe they'll use this throughout the season. But uh, that's such a cool kit. And it does, yeah, it does look like they're 90s slash 2000s. I reckon that was like a pre-season cup game or... I reckon Brisbane arguably have some of the best Guernseys in the competition. Like, when, yeah, when they do that Fitzroy looking one and then the Brisbane Bears looking one, I reckon every year they always nail their kits. Um, oh, that's a real old Fitzroy looking one. Oh, yeah, and then there, there is the Brisbane Bears. That's awesome. Another Fitzroy one. I'll go the Tigers, see what the Tigers have. Oh, wow. That, yeah, that's a recent pre-season one. Um, yeah, that's this season. This season. Oh, nice. <laughs> I can imagine Richo running around in that. Oh, that's so cool. Um, that just reminds me of, like, your David Rodens, your Nathan Foley's, like, when you see, like, a jumper like that. Oh, that's cool. Brett Burton. I reckon Brett Burton won Mark of the Year in that um, against the Blues at the Telstra Dome. Just soared over the pack in that... That yellow and red uh, crow's kit. I might try and see uh, Harry Sheasel as well. I'll, I'll try and see some of the goes all right people from the potty. Let's let's see if, if we can see the Shees. Oh, LDU, big brood of a man. I love the North Melbourne list. It's a good young list, up and coming list. Right, let's find the Shees. Oh, there he is. Look at the baby face. He's dominating at the moment, Harry Sheasel. Uh, <laughs> he looks great in the kit. Um, Oh, that's so cool. Tommy Powell as well. Looking great. Uh, let's go through. So I've heard that there's some newer stadiums in the game as well. So I'm going to go and um, and show you guys what stadiums are in AFL 23. So we've got the main grounds here, obviously. So we've got we've got the Gold Coast and we've got the Gabba, got the MCG looking pristine. But there's AFL grounds, there's AFLW grounds, and there's state grounds as well, which is pretty cool. There's 
There's Casey Fields in it. I wouldn't want to play Casey Fields. The wind will be that hard on this game. Churnside Park. I used to do some ground announcing down at Werribee, so you can play at Churnside Park, which is pretty cool. Um, Icon Park, obviously. There's a lot of VFL and VFLW that gets played there. Uh, Norwood Oval. I went to that oval uh, a couple of weeks ago for gather round, so you can play AFL 23 at Norwood Oval, which is really, really cool. Vic Park. Um, yeah, that's so cool that you can play on on all these state stadiums. It's um, yeah, it's awesome. I, I reckon we'll we'll play at the MCG for this game though. I'm going to be the Cats. We'll take on the Swans, the grand final rematch, um, and we'll get into some AFL 23 gameplay. All right, Geelong and the Swans at the MCG. Here we go. Some AFL 23 gameplay. If you don't mind, the MCG is looking pristine. Look at all the signage. It looks unbelievable. Got the security. Here comes the umpires. That's the uh, the Ponsford stand over there, and a little bit of the members. And you can see the you can see the hair on the legs of the Swatties as they come out to play. The big buddy coming through the banner, the lads. Tom Hickey looks like he's prepared to absolutely whack a couple of blokes. All right, where are the catters? Here they come. Here come the catters. Running out onto the ground. Paddy Dangerfield leading the boys. This is a premiership outfit. Oh, right, we do the toss of the coin. An interesting perspective. Thanks, Half. Excitement is building for this one. Look at the grass with the Coles logo on it. What's Luke Parker gonna do? Oh, he's kicking to uh, the city end, which is the end that they kicked to in the actual grand final, and the result didn't go too well for him, so. Hopefully we can start like the cat has started in the granny. Very new to the game though, so I've got my cheat sheet of buttons. Um, I have no doubt that I'm going to be handballing to the turf a lot, and it's going to be a little bit tricky to get used to, but hopefully I've got the basics down pat, and we can um, we can string some footy together. But uh, I've got my little cheat sheet, and let's get into some gameplay. Swans go in board. Oh, that's a great switch. We need someone in the hole. Someone go to the hole. Goes wide. We get a spoil, but it's great crumbing, and they've got another shot. That's a goal. Oh, Chad Warner is winding up the crowd. Oh, look at that. Look at the poetry in motion from Chad Warner. That is very smooth. I like the, the kicking action, and then the way he just goes nuts to the crowd. Oh, well done. Good mark. Let's play a bit of, let's play a bit of possession footy. Kick to the two on one. We'll go the handball. I love the I like the string handballs. Oh no. He thought he had a absolute paddock and a half. Alright, great build up by the cats here. Who's inside 50? Who cares? Go the way, son. Runs to 50. Oh, that's great build up by the boys. Great composed build up. Finally hit a couple of targets, and Tom Hawkins from the goal square. All right, quarter time, how cool is this? Chris Scott just giving us some orders. He says we want to play a bit higher, and we'll get the game on our terms. Well done. How do you talk? Uh, LT and L1. <laughs> there we go, we've talked at the Centre half forward and we got, oh, I couldn't hit the handball. I was going to try and release and bang one at half time. It's good half, oh, we're in it. We're slowly getting, getting the buttons down pat. We're nearly there. Um, I love how the players look. I love the sunshine of the MCG. It's end to end, it's smooth. It feels really, really good to play. And now we're in the change rooms. We're in the change rooms with the boys. Look at Guthrie, both the Guthries. They look a little bit sore and tired. Great switch. Get off your mark this time. Great footy. We got a man out on the wing. This is a great build up. Get back. Maybe I'll go to the top again. No, where's that going? Oh, he's found a man. 
This is terrific cat's footy. I've got... Oh, why do I... Mitch Duncan shrugs. To the boundary, Mitch. Oh, jeez. That was great. It was just the execution piece. So Gorn, good ruck craft. Now I got in a little bit of trouble here. I started <laughs> mashing the buttons. <laughs> Couldn't quite get rid of it. Jack Viney finally did. Spills out to Clayton Oliver. Shrugs the tackler. Kick from 50. Oh, he loves it. No. I have not timed it at all. This is going to be the world's smallest torp ever. It's off the side of the boot, but Cozzy! Track to Crumb! Set play. Set play. Yeah, just found Cozzy all alone. Look at the view of the G. Picturesque. It's a bit better. Now I've got to click this next part. Oh, it's wayward, Tommy. No. Jaden Stevenson, lining up. They need this, the ruse. Ah, oh, it's a great finish. And a very subdued celebration, given the margin. All right, guys, I've had an absolute ball down here at the Big Ant Studios. I want to thank Big Ant and the AFL for getting me down. It's been super fun. I cannot wait for this game to come out next week. There'll be plenty more AFL 23 content coming to my YouTube channel. I can't wait to bring out heaps more videos on this game. Um, so if you're into the AFL 23 or you're into the AFL video games, hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you never miss an upload. Once again, guys, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in, and I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Cheers.